Hey YouTube, a week ago I reported that my project won million portfolio and hit 230,000. Well since then the market has kept rising and so has the portfolio. I've been thinking whether I should get some insurance. The market is hitting all time highs, especially for indices like the NASDAQ. I remember telling myself that the next time the NASDAQ hits an all-time high, I should seriously consider getting some insurance. It's natural that as the value of your asset increases, you want to protect it. Let me run through my logic in this video and how I plan to maybe get some insurance. So about a month ago, I saw this video about how a, a fund had managed to gain incredible returns of about 3000 plus percent during the last market crash we had. This fund is advised by Nassim Talib who is famous for uh, the Black Swan book. It's a good video and I suggest you check it out. Basically the takeaway I got from it is that the fund manager here was buying out of the money put options. Most of those put options will expire worthless. But once in a blue moon, when the market crashes, those put options become very valuable. And that's how this fund gained 3000 plus percent when the S&P 500 declined by 12 plus percent. This fund's existence is basically just to profit from this method and it markets itself as a service basically as an insurance service that other funds can use. So my goal is not really to make money from buying pool options but just to offer some protection to my project 1 million portfolio. So I'm thinking of buying some put options. I will probably start very small because I'm still learning about this and I still want to see how it works. I'll probably nibble at some very cheap put options and see how it goes. I think as the market reaches all time highs and continues to power forward, this is probably the best time to experiment with this strategy. Now let's take a look at the Tinkoswim platform and exactly how I plan to execute this. So I will probably never short sell and this is probably the closest I will ever come to something that resembles anything like a short selling position. I'm still learning about this as I mentioned so I'm still working out the kinks and I'm not an expert on this but I think as I try it out I will learn more. So basically I've pulled up the triple Q ETF on the Think or Swim platform and I'm looking at the put options over here on the right. So I'm looking for the cheapest insurance I can find uh, for the longest period of time. So let's say I want insurance until 15 Jan 21. 2021. Let's open that up and let's say I want insurance at a strike price of about $100. So that means so the, currently the triple Q is at 241 and if I buy insurance at uh, $100 at a strike price of $100 then if the triple Q falls below uh, $100 then I make money on that uh, put option that I buy. It will cost me about $44. You look under us. So it will cost me about $44 to buy that put option. Of course, a drop to $100 uh, would be a massive drop for the triple Q. It will have to fall more than uh, 50%. But it's not just if the uh, the triple Q falls below $100 that I make money. Um, 
if the triple Q falls significantly, then the cost of the cost of selling the put option contract that I've bought may go up. So if I paid, for example, forty-four dollars, and let's say the triple Q falls by thirty percent, I may be able to sell that contract for let's say sixty or seventy dollars, so I can make some money off that fall. So given that I'm quite a cheap skate, I probably don't want to pay forty-four dollars for this insurance just yet. Uh, what I'll do is I'll probably set a limit order. And that's how I usually buy my stocks or so. So I'll go through how I do that. So I'll click on the R's here. And this uh, section pops up. Basically, I'm buying one put option contract uh, until 15 Jan 2021 with a strike price of $100. So what I'll do is I'll set the price that I want to pay. So let's say I want to pay just fourteen dollars for this uh, insurance. So I'll set the price as fourteen, and so it becomes a limit order, and then I'll set it as good to cancel. This usually means that the order, the limit order, will last for six months within the system. So I don't know when uh, the price of that put option contract will hit uh, fourteen dollars. But maybe if the, the NASDAQ goes up another 10-15%, it could hit $14. So I press confirm and send. And this is the confirmation box I get. So if the NASDAQ were to go to zero, I would get about $10,000. Of course, that's unlikely to happen. And I'm not really using this to make money. It's just to protect some of the downside should the market decline substantially. So if the order gets executed, I will pay about uh, $14 plus the commission, so about $14.65. So I'm not sure how much protection this will give me. Um, you know, I got to see how it works. So I guess the first thing to happen is for the order to get executed. And if the order gets executed, then I'll monitor it and learn from how uh, it moves along with the market directions and if need be that will help me decide how much insurance I should get the next time uh, the market hits all time highs or I feel is very significantly overvalued. So it's still a learning process for me if you know more about put op buying put options and how you know the prices are affected by market movements let me know in the comment section. If you think that I need to buy much more insurance than just one contract, also let me know in the comments section.